a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So guys, in our previous session, we have talked about how to work with a fill between function and in our today's session, we'll be talking about subplots. So guys, what are subplots? So suppose if you want multiple plots in a single plot, like in a single area, if you want the multiple plots, those kind of plots are called as subplots over here. Now let's have a look on how a subplot can be created. To create a subplot, first of all, let's import our library. So import matplotlib.py plot as plt. And let's create x in the y-axis. So x is equals to, I'll be just passing some values over here. So 18, comma, this, comma, that, comma, this, comma, that. Okay. And y is equals to, for example, we have, okay, x should be uniform over here. So let's keep this as y. And over here, let's remove this data. So let's go up and write x x is equals to and I'll keep them as 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 because we have 5 data right after that we have to plot a line plot so I'll just write plt dot plot open close the parentheses here I'll be passing x comma y and after this we can write plt dot show so this is our basic plot so as soon as I run it this is how it looks like this is my one plot okay now if I want to create uh, another plot over here for what for that what I'll be doing again I'll be writing Let's say this time again we have x is equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and y has some other values for example y has 10 comma 40 comma 20 comma 40 comma 50 okay and again we will be writing plt dot plot and here we will be passing x comma y so I will just put it here and as soon as I run it it will create another line over here but I don't want this I want two different plots over here which would represent both the data for that I will be using subplot over here so I will be writing plt dot subplot now subplot that means we need two columns over here one row but two columns over here so what we will be defining that this will we have we need one row two columns and this one will be the first one okay so this one will be the first part of our first uh, like we have one row and two columns so this one will be the first one okay Similarly, if I'll write the same thing over here, what I'll be writing, I'll be writing plt dot subplot. So I'll be writing subplot. And here again, we have one row, two column, but this plot will be the second plot of it. So I'll be writing one comma two comma two. Like again, we have one row, two column, but this is the second plot. That's why I will write two over here. Now, if I run it, you can see we have two plots over here. Both of them are different over here. So you can create multiple plots like this, right? Suppose if you want more of them, for that what we can do we can uh, just get more data more data as well so i'll just create more data for example i'll be writing x is equals to or i can just you know copy the data from above and paste it here and just make some changes for example i'll be writing so one x is equals to one two three four five y is i'll be just changing the y's value over here to maybe something different okay and let's just ignore the subplot part over here like i'll, I'll just remove this part over here from all of them so this time we will be creating four plots. Okay, so just copy this and paste it here. And let's change the data here. We will be writing 37, 46, 38, 49, 10. Okay, now for the four plots, what should be the ratio? It should be the ratio of 2 by 2, right? That means we should have two rows and two columns here. So here we will be defining inside the subplots, I will be writing that I need two rows, two columns, and this one will be the first one, right? The second one, if I talk about the second one over here, it would be two plots. That means two rows, two columns and this will be the second one. Okay. After this, we'll be having two rows, two columns. But this one, this one will go below, right? But that uh, for that, we won't be writing first again over here. So one, two and the next one would be three over here. So I'll be writing three that this one is the plot number three. And for this one, again, two rows, two columns. And this one will be plot number four over here. So I'll be writing four. And as soon as we run it, see we are getting the data over here. Why is the data of first one missing? Because I have removed x comma y. Okay, so x comma y. And here we have all the four data. So we have one. This is our plot one. This is plot two. This is plot three. And this is plot four over here. If you want to provide them with the title, you can provide them with the title as well. You can write plt dot title. And you can provide with day one. I'll just copy this from here and paste it here. This would become our day two. So this is how it looks like so we have day one and day two and if you want to give day three day four you can give day three and day four as well so we can just paste this data here and write day three and similarly over here we can write day four and as soon as we run it we have day one day two day three and day four all the four data over here okay 
this is how we can obtain the data now if you want that uh, okay we know that this is day one day two day three day four but who's day one day two day three day four so we can uh, write over here we can one we can create one super title over here for super title we have a one very simple method that over here we will be writing plt dot subtitle not super title we won't be writing super title the full form is super title but here we'll be writing subtitle so sub title it's like what's up but it's sub people say sub as well but yeah so subtitle plt dot subtitle and we can pass any subtitle for example this is grocery store okay and as soon as we run it this is how it looks like so we have a super title of a grocery store we have day one day two day three and day four so this is how we can create subplots over here now this is not only limited to line plots you can create pie plots you can create bar plots you can create you can create pie uh, pie charts you can create bar graphs you can create histogram plots you can create any kind of plot using the subplots over here they are not limited to only one kind of a plot so suppose instead of this if i write bar and run it so one of them will become a bar plot over here so if you want any of them if you want all of them, uh, as of sim same data but you want a different different charge for that you can do that as well over here so this is how basically subplots work i hope this method over here is clear to you that how we can define the uh, subplots subplots take three parameters the first will be the rows the second will be the column and third will be the location of that plot that it is on one two three or one two three four so this is this the third one over here tells the location of the plot over here so i hope you guys have no doubts in the question that what are subplots in our next session we'll be talking about 3d plots so we'll be just having a small discussion that what 3d plots are basically in our matplotlib and i'll also show you how to create a 3d plot so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you